Hello, welcome to St Peter's Church. After a bit of a break since Covid really, it's been a while since uh, Phil and I have recorded things together, but we thought it would be a good idea to share with you some of the things that we've been doing and to put together a monthly programme perhaps to enable you to see how blessed we are with the, the youngsters who are singing so well in the church, the choral scholars, the organ scholars, and to share and show some of their skills and achievements. And also, I'm afraid you'll have to put up with me talking briefly about um, a few things that hopefully are of interest. This is the season of Michaelmas now. Uh, we remember Michael and all the angels. And it's one of the themes of the windows in St Peter's that many of them actually have angels appearing in them. We've got the window here. Uh, the angels are there at the resurrection of our Lord and Saviour Jesus. We have the angel Gabriel announcing the birth, uh, the, announcing to Mary that uh, she is going to be the mother of our Lord. But today we're going to look particularly at a window we have at the back of the church which features Michael, the Archangel Michael, as on Michaelmas, the Mass of Michael, we remember and give thanks to God for the angels in heaven. So please follow me to the window. St Michael, the Archangel. This comes from the book of Revelation. And war broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. The dragon and his angels fought back, but they were defeated, and there was no longer any place for them in heaven. The great dragon was thrown down, that ancient serpent 
who is called the devil and Satan, the deceiver of the whole world. He was thrown down to the earth, and his angels were thrown down with him. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven proclaiming, Now have come the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Messiah. For the accuser of our comrades has been thrown down, who accuses them day and night before our God. But they have conquered him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, for they did not cling to life even in the face of death. Rejoice then, you heavens, and those who dwell in them. But woe to the earth and the sea, for the devil has come down to you with great wrath, because he knows that his time is short. In the course of 40 years, people have often asked me, what's all this about angels? I've never seen one. Well, neither have I, but there are lots of things I haven't seen which actually exist, like I've never seen electricity uh, and I haven't seen the internet, but it's there and it works. But certainly Jesus speaks about angels, but always angels, angelos, the word means a messenger, they are creatures of heaven. The angels, the archangels, the cherubim, the seraphim, the vision of Isaiah in Isaiah chapter 6 has them continually praising Almighty God. They are heavenly creatures who come occasionally to earth to bring messages uh, to human beings. And that's the important thing to remember, I think, above all. Often our faith is characterised as not doing bad things so that when we die God will reward us by letting us go up to heaven. Whereas, of course, what we will be celebrating and each and every year when we remember the message of the angels to the shepherds is that God has come to be with us. He is Emmanuel, that Jesus comes down from heaven because heaven is fine with its angels and archangels, but the world needs to be put right. The world is in a mess. And unlike most of the, the, the great battles of the past where the armies would fight and take over a city and then the king would enter finally in triumph, as always with our Christian faith, things are done the other way round. And the king comes in humility at the beginning, born as a baby laid in a manger and by acts of healing, inclusion, forgiveness, care, love. He brings his kingdom and he calls upon you and me to become his loyal subjects, not up in heaven but on earth, because the earth needs to be put right. The earth is in a state and it needs God's kingdom, God's will, God's rules, God's goodness, God's love, God's forgiveness to flow within it in order to put things right and to usher in that great kingdom that Jesus promised he will bring when he does return from heaven to bring heaven's values and heaven's joys eternally to this earth which he created and loved, loves and died for. The need for us to put the world right is seen in this beautiful hymn the words are wonderful. The, the choir actually sang it last week, uh, Jesus Christ is Waiting. It shows quite clearly how Jesus is here among us and he wants us to work with him, to find him in the poor, in the weak, by the way in which we live our lives, lives of love and understanding and self-offering.
Heavenly Father, as we remember the angels in heaven, continually worshipping you in joy and rapture, we bring before you our own praises and thanksgiving. We praise you for the beauty and variety of creation, for those we love and those we have not met yet but can grow to love. We praise you for all your blessings to us. Heavenly Father, we pray that we may learn to share those blessings widely. May we look not at what we can get for ourselves, how our will can be done, but may we look always to see what your will is and find ways that we may do it in our lives. May we always be ready to welcome, to encourage, to affirm, to love, to forgive, to reconcile. May we be aglow with zeal, filled by your Spirit, to be used by you to put things right, to turn the world the right way up again, that strength is used to look after the weak, that wealth is used to care for the poor, that in our lives we may show forth your love and your goodness, that we may proclaim the year of the Lord's favour. We bring before you those parts of the world and those parts of our lives that are not as they should be. We thank you that in the life, death and resurrection of your Son, you have given us a sure and certain promise that evil and sin will be overcome and that even death itself is not an end. Father, we pray for those who are ill, for all who suffer in any way. May they know the presence of your Son with them and we pray that you will use us as means of healing, hope and comfort. We pray too for those we love but see no longer. We thank you that they are safe with you. And we look forward to that day. When one day, as your son promised, his kingdom comes in its fullness and all the tears are wiped away and there is no more death and we may live eternally praising you for your beauty and goodness united with those we have loved but lost and united with the heavenly host Father, we ask our prayers in the name of him who is the King of heaven and earth, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.
We hope you have enjoyed the show and we close with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be upon you, your homes and those you love, today and always. Amen. And now we close, as always, with our theme tune the beautiful hymn tune, St Peter's. <laughs>